This video is about repairing a fellow ham's Aston power supply. It's a linear unit and the complaint was that um, there was a puff of smoke and then no more output. Now the first thing I did was to feed the output into a electronic load to verify the fault and it was true above 8 amperes the voltage dropped. Now the first thing to do when you when you service a linear power supply is to discharge the reservoir capacitor and here you see me doing it using a power resistor taking a look inside the power supply I was not very impressed by the quality the NTC connected to the primary windings was just suspended uh, by the wires and here you see the secondary windings the high current windings there are no terminals of any sort the controller board was held on by just the screws of the reservoir capacitor. Overall, not a very safe looking power supply. When it arrived, the power supply looked quite old, but inside I found there were some new components. I suspected then that an attempt had already been made at repairing the power supply. Just for curiosity, I opened up, I took the removed the screws and lifted up the controller board and then reinstalled the controller board. The controller board looked okay but I recall that when I was dismantling it one of the screws that held it onto the reservoir capacitor was a bit too long resulting in poor contact. So what I did was I replaced the screw with the proper size and retested the unit and this time things were all okay. I used the electronic load again and loaded up the unit and this time there was no abrupt drop in voltage. Feeling very happy that I had already solved the problem I reassembled the unit and then I heard a spark. What had happened was that the earth pin of the power supply had brushed against one of the power transistors and caused a big black mark. Guided by the black mark on the body of the power transistor, a simple investigation revealed that there was about 20 volts between the exposed power transistor body and the chassis.